I want to thank you guys for coming out tonight. It means the world to me, and I want you to know that I've spent a lot of time and thought on this. And with that being said, I have decided to go to... It's making life musical, hey! So the time has officially come to announce where I'm going to college. But I feel like before I can do that, I have kind of a lot to step you guys through. First things first is ideally I go to one of my colleges of choice with an assistantship. Just a little editing note right there. Uh, an assistantship, I realize I didn't explain it, means that basically when I get to the college, I'm going to have certain responsibilities and in exchange for those responsibilities, they will pay for my school and maybe even give me a little bit of a stipend. So I had to go and I had to audition at all these places, see if I could even get in the studios. And that was an intimidating process. We are on our way to Texas right now. We have officially made it to LSU. This week is the University of Missouri. We're in Tennessee this weekend. It's kind of been a, one of the crazier weeks I've had to deal with between the traveling. My grandfather passed away, so my mind hasn't really been in it. I'm just trying to keep the mindset of it doesn't really matter. I'm applying to a lot of different schools and I feel like if I'm putting all my eggs into one school's basket, that's what's going to cause me to be nervous. Audition wise, I'm feeling good. We're adding a Snedecor etude onto this cycle. I'm still not really that nervous, which is a good thing, we hope, unless it's making me play worse, but I can't imagine me being not nervous is going to affect my playing. As you could see, some weeks were better than others and by the end of things, I was just feeling down on my well, let's talk about that audition that just happened. Sometimes I have the tendency to get nervous and I get the butterflies and it messes up my sound and I really felt good. In my mind, I was kind of ready for the worst. So I was expecting like five people to be there, you know, playing for a crowd, but it was really just him. And that's where me going and visiting last year kind of helped a lot, I think. Done with my audition, I felt like I played pretty good music wise, but I was missing notes, missing some slurs, you know, who knows if I'm gonna be the right fit but it's over with and I felt pretty good about it so it's been a long day I got there at 9 o'clock the welcome meeting was supposed to start then well turns out it was 10 o'clock and our phones were messed up and they never like moved time from our Decatur time zone to the Knoxville time zone that was great to know so I missed one meeting after that it was just a lot of sitting around we had about three and a half hours to kill it was a really good lesson when we walked in he pointed me uh, towards a sheet of paper and I had to fill out the band assistantship form and he said that he's recording the audition and he was gonna you know give it to them and it was gonna be up to them to decide because that is a different fund it was a very long day I don't think my audition went super well as far as how I sounded my lesson was good he was focusing on kind of using less air I don't know lots of thinking I have to do over the next few days I'm so ready to be getting in results and finalizing things when that fourth travel weekend came around I had already found some news and it wasn't necessarily the result that I was looking for so I was feeling kind of negative I did find out this last week that I didn't make it into Texas so I kind of have that going against me because obviously it's getting more narrow you know instead of four choices I have three Texas was my most competitive one so you know what can you do and at one point I was just so so, so negative on myself and the whole situation. I'm in a messy corner of my room uh, because kind of in a messy mood. At this point, I didn't make it into Texas and I didn't get the studio assistantship at Tennessee. I got in the studio. I wasn't sure if I could afford that situation without an assistantship. So I was feeling kind of negative on myself and I was beginning to process the thought of maybe taking a gap year. The consideration that I have to do there though is can I get good enough in the year off to make it into a school if I wasn't good enough this year to make it into a school or do I just pay for it? Going into it before my auditions, I was like, okay, well, yeah, if I don't make any of these options, I'll go take a gap year. That is a more complicated and a lot more scary uh, the closer you get. A lot of people think that uh, practicing is like a bell curve. So you start, you're a beginner, you know nothing. Then you get better and better and better and you're like a professional or whatever happens at the top of your career. And then, you know, you get worse and worse as you get older and that's something that you have to deal with and then you're dead right? Uh, Dr. Manzo had a different philosophy. Instead of a bell curve, you are a beginner and you know nothing. 
And then you make little leaps and bounds as you grow. And it's not a process that you get better and better every day. It's a, oh, you're better one day. Oh, you're working, you're working, and all of a sudden, you're better. All of a sudden, you're better. And he did say that I'm right at the verge of making another step. And I think that's the step that I really need. I don't know if I'd agree with this though. I would kind of tweak it a little bit. So basically my thought process is, you know, you start and then you can make a lot of progress every single day that you practice. Every single day you're making progress, but you still do have little flat lines and everything. But the longer you go, the steeper it gets, right? The harder it is to make progress and then it does become a staircase. And I've kind of learned in my college years, when you're making progress, you slow down eventually. So when I was in high school, I was making all kinds of progress with my teacher and he was making all kinds of bounds and stuff. And then it kind of got to the point where, you know, you kind of learn the stuff, you need new stuff, you need new thought processes. Can I help myself make another jump if I take a gap year and get myself enough better to go to a top school that I would want to go to? So obviously I was in a low point, but I gave it a week and things began to look up. Several things have happened in the last week. I just found out that I did make it into LSU, which is encouraging because at Texas it was just a no. You just weren't accepted. But I was accepted into Tennessee, I know that, and I was accepted into LSU, I know that. The thing is though is I want to go with an assistantship and I don't have that right now. I found out that Joe Skillen is leaving LSU, so that could make my situation better because people are like, well, if you're leaving, I don't want the assistantship. Give it to somebody else. Maybe it goes down to me eventually, but that might not be as great of a situation for me. It would be a new tuba teacher and it's probably just an interim guy. And the other big thing that happened, I got an email from the band director at Tennessee and they were like, hey, come and do a Skype interview with us. Uh, we are interested in you doing the UT band program assistantship. And that is mainly for conducting majors. So it's competitive, but I have had some people vouch for me, I think. Maybe LSU will send me some kind of offer eventually waiting on the Tennessee Skype interview and then maybe Missouri sends me some kind of offer. Lots of waiting, lots of maybes. And then at this point, the entire world exploded. I was not even allowed back at the University of Alabama because of this dang coronavirus virus stuff. All of everything just fell apart and it was a stressful time for me sitting here waiting to find out if I was going to go to college next year or am I going to have to sit at home and figure out another plan. Texas had said no. LSU I had kind of given up on because Skillin's not there. I can't really afford it. There's not really a point. Tennessee I made it in their studio but I didn't have any assistantship unless the band stuff works out and I wasn't sure if that was going to work out. My current teacher at Alabama Alabama told me that I could go there and pay in state tuition next year and that's kind of helpful but it's not ideal. And then Missouri got back to me and said that I didn't get their spot but they could make me a new one. And then obviously the gap year is an option, I just, I'm not sure about it, it's a risky thing to do. And so now finally, the whole reason of this video, where am I going to school next year, if at all, what am I doing next year? And I want you to know that I have spent a lot of time and thought on this. And with that being said, I have decided to go to the University of Tennessee for the next two years. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So I just had my Zoom meeting. Two out of the three directors that I was meeting with are tuba players, which was funny. They said I was in between one other guy and it was gonna come down to that. I, I finally have news from Tennessee. They sent out an email and it started off with, it was so great to meet you. That's all I could see. I mean, I'm thinking I'm so used to getting, it was so great to meet you. Uh, we've decided to offer another person your position. This one says, it was so great to meet you. I am pleased to offer you a UT band graduate position. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. First of all, before I discuss how excited I am, check out this new shirt. I went ahead and bought some new shirts because you know I want to represent my new team. I am beyond excited that I got an assistantship at Tennessee. I spent the majority of this year working towards this and it feels good that I was finally able to achieve it. So basically what I will be doing at Tennessee is I will be working with all of their band programs. So marching band, pet bands, and I'm pretty sure concert band. Basically whatever their band directors want me to do, I will do it. But I do know that I've signed the contracts and I am officially 
officially a Tennessee volunteer. So I've gone through the process, you know, I've been telling people a little by little every week, family members, some friends here and there. I wanted to tell the Million Dollar Band tuba players just to get their reaction. So I sent a message in our group me and I told them, hey, I'm going to be joining them. I'm super excited to be doing this. And obviously, Tennessee is not necessarily a great school to a lot of people at Alabama. And one specifically sent me, Ben, I say this lovingly, however, I regret to inform you that you are low down, they low down, dirty, they dirty, a snitch, they some snitches, attending a garbage truck convention, I hate N Nailing Stadium, it looks like a garbage truck worker convention, and in that orange that don't sit well, it's not that orange that you can sit with, it's that puke inside of a pumpkin orange. Obviously they're making jokes, but so many of them were happy for me and that's awesome because those are the guys and girls that I marched with for three years at Alabama. They even went so far to change the name of the group me to Ben Cooper's Rocky Top Paradise, which I just thought was pretty classic. The whole point of this was just to tell the story of me getting to this point. And I hope that I at least somewhat conveyed what a process this was because it was difficult. The difficult part was the waiting. I definitely grew in my patience through this process. This week's shout out is Kitty Cat, and she says this was awesome seeing how you did your part of this and went and watched the recording, also very awesome. Thank you so much for commenting, I appreciate it. If you want to be next week's shout out, comment down below and I might pick you. But that's all that I have for this video. Make sure that you guys subscribe so you can come along with me on my journey as I become a Tennessee volunteer, as I'm working with the band. There's a lot of fun stuff that I will get to do because of this assistantship, and I will of course be taking you guys along with me. But that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Go make life musical, and I'll see you in the next one. It's making life musical, hey. So I'm currently pissed off because I got an email, and I'm sitting here waiting for, to find out, well, where am I going to go to college? I would love to hear back from Tennessee. Come on, let me know something. And then I get an email. All that I see is, welcome to Rocky Top. That's great. Welcome to Rocky Top. Dear Ben, congratulations on being accepted to the University of Tennessee. We knew that I was accepted already. The spread of coronavirus has impacted people across the globe, and we're here to answer any questions. That's it. It wasn't from the band. It wasn't about money or anything. So I'm still waiting.